hello it's Jay here again and welcome to another video in this lesson we're going to pick up exactly where we left off in the previous video and we copied the code for the special moves um, but we actually commented out for this special move too and this is because this is really long and it's got a lot of errors so I'm going to uncomment that and we're going to begin to actually fix this script. So let's begin with set sp anim to play. Now I've got the play one movement script and the opponent AI script open as well. This will be important. So just like we did for the play one movement we need this private ball and we'll paste that in and we'll just set that to false in the void start And we'll quickly put that into the comments so now we have that in place or obviously all those errors are gone so it's just case going through and tackling each error as we come across so special move to anim becomes the black robot special move to anim so let's copy and paste that function in so here we have play one and the opponent now in the opponent AI we have these as static game objects so we can just reference the opponent AI script we'll use dot and obviously I'm going to change these around so now the first one's going to be opponent And we'll just do the same here reference the opponent AI script dot and then we want underscore player one so let's have a look at the next one temp move position So I'm just going to come to the play one movement script again. So let's have a look. I think I actually missed actually getting these into the void start just to double check that they are beginning in the correct state but um, that's something we'll come back to at a later date but for now I'm just going to copy in the private float for the temp move position so that's automatically fixed a few of those errors and again we're going to use opponent AI dot and we want the opponent so we have the player one move direction So 
So let's just come and have a look at the opponent. So again, we could really do with referencing this directly from the opponent AI script. So let's turn that to a public static variable and of course now we can just reference it direct we have the opponent AI walk speed So this public, um, I'll make this static for now. Bind to actually come back and just grab an object reference later, but let's just keep this simple for the moment. And So let's copy opponent AI dot opponent move direction and we're just going to go through now and paste this over every instance of the play one move direction. So unfortunately it is fairly time consuming but we are getting down the errors. So we had a reference to the play one transform. In the play one movement script. So let's have a look in the opponent AI. So we have the same for the opponent transform. Again, we'll change this to public static. And I'll just make sure that's saved off. And we'll change that to the opponent transform. So let's have a look. We'll copy that again. So we're definitely getting down the errors now. And in fact, I'm going to copy opponent AI dot opponent walk speed. Again, we can copy this over the player walk speed. So we seem to be getting um, an error there. We'll come back and look at that. 
and let's just continue let's come up so again we have the reference to player one which we want to replace with opponent AI but this time dot opponent So we're really actually getting on top of this now, the errors. So it looks like I missed. One here. So let me have a look at that error. And I can see where this has gone wrong. This should be opponent move direction. And that's that error gone. Now we're going to copy opponent AI dot player one. And we're going to paste it over a pop opponent here. So let's just make sure we change that out in the comments. And we'll just save that off to now. So I think now we're dealing with the collision flags and of course the actual moving the controller. So I'm changing the opponent controller again to public static. So again, we can just reference the opponent AI direct and we want the opponent controller. And of course, we just paste in that over anywhere it says player controller. We'll replace that with opponent. We need the collision flag, so let's come back. And again, we're just going to make that. A static as well will paste will now wear uh, copy and paste opponent.ai.collision flags everywhere we need to so and it looks like that's all we need to do so this is going to be the biggest change which is going to be the changing of the states So we already have this set to static, the opponent AI state. And let's have a look. at 
the actual we've got the wait for special moves I just want to check that the actual naming convention is all correct which it is I mean obviously it should have given us a red error if not but it's always worth double checking And of course we just need to make these changes everywhere else. In fact what I'll do is because we need to change the comments. So let's come here. Opponent AI state to equal the... And that will be fine. So let's just copy and paste that over. And the last two times. And there we go. There's the red errors fixed. Now, obviously, the special moves aren't going to work as of yet. Um, I will go through this and obviously tidy this up um, off camera. I advise you to do the same and obviously check if there's any more changes we need to make. Um, but I'm sure you're capable of doing that for yourself. We'll leave it here for this lesson. We'll pick this up in the very next video. So until then, as always, bye for now.